Right, so in this video, this video is the demonstration for the Jupyter Notebook application of the movie uh, analysis that I made. And so I will walk you through the main functions in the application so that in the end of the video, I hope you will have know some um, kind of basic functions and how know how the application works. So firstly, you have to follow the this instruction Right, so please follow this instruction to initialize that. You need to click the drop down menu self above. And then we click journal. So there are six options that you can choose for your analysis. Okay, option number one, most successful director or artist. Option number two, movie comparison. Option number three, Analyze the distribution of the gross earning. Option number four, jump analysis. Option number five, MDB score versus all the numeric variables. And option number six, assist uh, the application. So, but if you uh, choose the option number two, please refer to this link for the list of three more than 3,000 movies available for the analysis. So I'm gonna accept this link first, okay. So you're gonna have um, a lot of movies available for the analysis. Actually, so the movie is from um, 1927 to up until very recent year, 2016. So there's a lot of the uh, uh, movies that you can choose from for the comparison for the option two later that I will tell you more about that. Okay, and um, right. And if error occur and you want to restart the application, so you could click the drop down menu candle and then click restart and run all. So it's not for now, but if in case there are occur errors occur in the application and you want to restart the app, that's the thing you're gonna do. And lastly, for the full rep report, so please refer to this link. So I'm gonna click here. Okay, so it is the report, uh, I mean the report uh, to, together with the code and the, um, the, the comments and the conclusion for from the movie uh, data analysis and from the data sets. So you can read through all of the available information here. So all of the, the um, I mean the code and also the, the conclusion from the plot or uh, whatsoever. So it's all available here. Yep. So you can walk through by yourself. So for example, there's some few conclusion here, but I think so you, uh, you, you can have time for yourself to kind of to dig down further, uh, kind of the main point in the report. And um, so now we, get back to the application and we have six options. Now the option number one, most seven directors and actors. And then for each of the every option available here, whenever you want to choose the option for your analysis, just uh, here the box, just uh, enter the option, that option into the box here and then press enter first. You want to choose the option number one, the most seven directors and artists. And then it's going to show you, uh, please choose your option, successful directors or successful artists. So I want to choose number two, successful artists. And then now choose, enter the number of top most successful actors. In this case, I want to have the top let's say 30 uh, most successful at a, with respect to the cross earning. So I enter here and then it's gonna show me 30 uh, at a, uh, down in the bottom with respect to the cross earning the, of the movies they participated in. So for example, in this case, we have the most successful at a, gonna be Morgan Freeman with the movie he made, okay, not just one movie, but cut up more than one movie and maybe two or three or more than that. So the total gross earning that 
and he make from the movie he participated into so in so it's gonna be around four billion dollars that a lot of money so the next one is Johnny Depp Tom Hanks Robert Downey Skeleton Nessons and so on and so forth so it's gonna be similar for the most successful directors now move on the next option option number two movie comparison now I enter the uh, two number two in the box and I press enter here now we have to choose two movies for the comparison we enter the first movie now as I said before at the very beginning of the movie analysis for if you choose the option number two please refer to this link for the list of more than 3,000 movies available for the analysis so as we already clicked here so we have uh, more than 3,000 mm, movie let's say I gonna choose the movie um, uh, Kung Fu Panda okay that's one of my favorite movie uh, for the first movie and then the second movie for the comparison let's say I'm gonna choose the Iron Man Iron Man 3 let's say okay so we have a few information here so the the comparison between the first movie Kung Fu Panda Kung Fu Panda and the second movie is Iron Man 3 first the IMDb score there we have the IMDb score distribution the histogram here is for the, all of the movies and the median score is the 6.6 .6. here is the red light the first movie in the yellow one so Kung Fu Panda 7.2 so above the median score also the Iron Man 3 so 7.6 so just right here and when it's put into the bar plot so we have the bar plot for the comparison so IMDb score comparison Kung Fu Panda and Iron Man 3 here secondly with regard to the cross earning so the median cross earning for all the movies is going to be 29 around 20 nearly 30 million US dollars but for the first movie Kung Fu Panda is 408 million US dollar here and then for the second movie Iron Man 3 215 here we have so the cross earning is also put into the bar chart here yes. and for the Facebook likes they're similar to the cross earning so we have some comparison now we done with the option number two for kind of if you want to explore further the comparison between two movies you can okay re-enter again the option number two here for the movie comparison and you can choose whatever the movie you like that for the comparison so it's available here now next one is the option number three analyze the distribution of the cross endings i press three and enter here now please enter the starting year so i press the 1960 for the starting year of my analysis and the ending year I probably enter 2015 so the reason why uh, if I choose that it's gonna show me some charts here so the starting year um, the starting year uh, 1960 the ending year is 2015 we have the, the live chart here for max rod earning mean cross earning median cross earning and mean cross earning we also have the number of movies being produced in the those years okay there's some years that have a lot more movie than some other years and distribution of cross earning during the chosen range of years between the two 1960 uh, between and 2015 okay now we're done with option number three now we can move on to the next option in option number four genre analysis so we have the list of the genre here there's from action adventure animation biography comedy crime documentary and so on and so forth 
and in this case i want to choose the horror movie for the analysis which is also my favorite too and here are. so we have the disparity statistics sorry this is low certain information disparity statistics of the horror movies and imdb scores so the the imdb score distribution of the horror movie here we have the median score and the mean score the box plot of IMD score distribution with the horror movie in red and other movie drums so we have here so horror movie right here and the IMDb score from 1 to 10 okay is the box plot distribution there's some outlier here and the number of horror movie being produced throughout the whole years uh, between the night 19 1925 to 2016 so 386 movies so for the horror movie being produced there's some other mm, movie genres that that be more having more movies let's say drama comedy thriller or something like that so we have the the power plots for the comparison here so moving on to the crossing of the horror movie there's some basic statistics here we have the crossing without the eye liars so in great horror movie again so the last one is the facebook live so we saw the comparison now next one is the option five and db score and other numeric variable so if i enter the option number five here so we have to wait a moment this takes some time to run okay Right, here we are. So, um, we have decreased the statistic of all of the movie uh, in terms of IMDb. So, we have mean, median, median here, 6.6 .6 IMDb score, the mean is 6.5 or something like that. Maximum is uh, 9.3 and we have the, the scatter plot. I mean the matrix scatter plot here and between the IMDB score with all the numeric variables and we also have the heat map plot the Pearson correlation coefficient between the variables so down in the bottom we have the IMDB score uh, the the number here is the the Pearson correlation uh, between the IMDB score with all the numeric numeric variables we have the between the duration director facebook lights number user for review or whatsoever so we have also power plus of idb score with all the numeric variable so that's it for the main analysis so at the end of the analysis you can click number six you choose the number six for the assist and that's it for the uh the analysis thank you for listening and hope to see you next time see you bye